your character going to look for redemption from anybody over what she previously done, or is she not care? Oh, Gabrielle never not cares. <laughs> she always cares. So I think we can say that she she will be still very invested, if not more, with um, having a part in it. <laughs> She seemed to relish the fact that she was had this purpose to torture. Yeah. Will she become a larger threat in season two, or is she sort of holding back because I guess she's being given a second chance? Um. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I know she's being still accepted into the order um, because that's where she's left off in season one. She that they give her a second chance. Um, but I think I think people did really respond to her darker side, so I think she might maybe play with that a little bit more. I can't really say. Yeah. <laughs> what has it been like for you to watch the fans for this show grow? I mean, it started out very strong. Developed such a loyal fan base. Yeah. Just to make it it's been really cool. Um, actually, it's really kind of cool. Um, I think Netflix posted uh, an image of Gabrielle, like right when, right when the, the premiere happened, and my mom was looking through the comments. And, and I mean, like, Gabrielle's not. No, I know. One, Gabrielle's not the nicest person on the series, you know what I mean? Like, she's not the hero. But but my, I guess my mom kind of took it to heart and she was like, Rene, she's like, can I swear here? And I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. They're like, oh, they're, they're calling you really mean names. They're like, oh, 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 they're like, they're just like really invested and you know they believe my character she's like well they should know that you're an actor like they should just know that it's a character i was like it's okay mom like it's all chill like, it's fine. but yeah my mom's very invested with the fans <laughs> some of the more fun parts about playing so yeah uh, this character right um just like that playing the villainous character um but i think with her it's like it's more than just like her with her power, it's just like she does have this void in her life that she's trying to fill and the order does give her some sense of purpose so I think it goes much deeper to like, I'm gonna torture you but just the fact that like she was given a purpose and she wants to relish in it is, has been really really fun um, and yeah I guess the torture scenes are fun too <laughs> making them bleed and stuff <laughs> and Gabrielle too is part of the Brandon for quite a lot of the season she had kind of her helper base Basically, and yeah. right at the end he runs off. So are we going to see them sort of meet up again and see what happens? You know, because she's probably going to be a bit pissed. At them. I can't say that, unfortunately. Um, but she. I don't know. So will there be more interactions between the two of them? I cannot say. Okay. Yeah, that one I cannot say. <laughs> I'm sorry? Since you couldn't say about the interactions, who is she having? Um, well, we just actually did a reading for the panel, and she has a lot of interactions with um, Vera because I feel like she's like trying to like like cuddle cozy up to her, you know what I mean? Um, and there's gonna be some fun things just within the order. You know, I think, yeah, that's all I can say. I'm like trying really hard. <laughs> can you tell I'm like filtering myself? I'm like, don't give more than you can. The producers are really happy. Yeah. <laughs> You obviously were set at Belgrave University last season. Are we going to see an expanded universe a bit? Maybe other orders and other universities? Oh, you know what? I don't know. But that would be a really cool idea. So not yet, I suppose. I guess <laughs> not. No. Wait, I've only read the first two episodes, so I don't know much more than what I'm actually giving you guys. <laughs> what was it that first attracted you to the project? Like, were you a fan of like, the supernatural? Um, I've always been a Harry Potter fan, so I think as soon as I heard that magic was involved, I was like, I'm in. I am so in. Um, and yeah, like the fantasy elements, and uh, especially the comedy. I think it's like cool to have like the horror mixed with the comedy. It 
making people laugh that way. Yeah. I'm sure it breaks up the tension too, because it's like you have that little bit of humor. Yeah. Like break up some scenes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Will she be experiencing? Will she be interacting with more types of new magic this season? Yes, there's definitely different spells and definitely more magic coming. That's what I'm definitely saying. Anything you care? Out there on we obviously you saw them sort of dive a little bit into the, sort of the collective unconsciousness and you know looking and um, listening to people who essentially were dead and sort of getting their memories back is that going to be because the fact that your character has killed so many people right. is that going to have a repercussion in the second season at all because they're essentially they're gone but not gone yeah so. um not that I know of so far from it. So that, right? but maybe potentially maybe they did this on purpose just giving us the first two episodes so we don't say a lot but uh, I have no idea is that something you'd like to see like what would pack for the kind of outside story with absolutely like not because if she's She's hurt so many people, she doesn't want to hear back from them. You know? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the 